Let's see what else is buzzing in the Beehive State. Jamie? So March Madness, yes, everyone's talking about that, but we're gonna talk about March being Women's History Month and something that's lesser known, which is uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month. Uh, we are combining the two with three Utah women who are showing that they're more than their brain injury. And so here they are. You have Elisa Butler, Leisha Butler, and who's a best-selling author and founder of the Hope Hero Foundation, which helps prevent suicide. And then Rachel Reed Andrews, a successful PR specialist who has also found some great features on, for uh, KUTV. And Jenny Groberg, CEO of Booksmarts, a woman-owned and run accounting firm. And each of these women have experienced one or more traumatic brain injuries, or TBIs. Let's take a listen. I have actually had three traumatic brain injuries. I was a collegiate athlete. I played soccer and that was when I had my first one. Um, and I, I, I don't remember exactly what happened. I had blacked out um, with it. And you know, 20 years ago, they didn't really do anything. And I was in a snowmobile accident. Um, Luckily, and luckily is an understatement, but luckily I had my, my helmet on. After an ambulance and a life flight, I spent five days in an ICU in Idaho and then was transferred to the um, Craig H. Nielsen Rehab Center um, for severe TBI. I jumped up on my counter to grab something out of my cupboard and there was water and I slipped off the counter and just nailed my head on the travertine floor. I don't know that I really even understood how catastrophic it was until the days went along and I was unable to really function in a lot of different areas of my life. Wow. Well, according to uh, Utah.gov, 25 people uh, are sent to Utah emergency rooms every day for a traumatic brain injury. Jenny, Alicia, along with Rachel, they all said that a lot of recovery comes with TBIs and that support from loved ones uh, can make a huge difference. All three had unique recovery experiences, including different therapies that they had to undergo, even uh, wearing special glasses that could help uh, basically re just retract the light so that way it uh, just won't make it difficult for them to see. We wanted to hear from all of them uh, who, we wanted to hear from all three women who, what they would say to other TBI survivors to encourage them. The nervous system is like a scab and the more you scratch it and irritate it, the worse it gets. So I wish that at the beginning, I would have taken it easier. I would have been more gentle with myself. The biggest thing is give yourself grace. There's no going back to who you were before because it's it's the practice of resilience. You're not going back. Now you're moving through and moving forward into this new direction, into this new, new being of life. Just putting that work in after and giving yourself rest and um, taking those breaks and giving yourself the rest you need, you'll thank yourself for the rest of your, your life. And Rachel also brought up the idea of bonus day. She says that every day after near deadly brain injury is a bonus and to make the most of those days. So inspiring stories from those women. Uh, glad that they were able to recover. And yes, it is possible to get through that difficult time. Yeah, you hear those stories happening a lot, especially for athletes and people doing right. extreme sports and whatnot. Just think, goodness, you got to wear a helmet too. Right, but. And, and a lot of the accidents are almost unavoidable or you don't know it's going to happen. So yeah. it's great.